talk a lot about how we interact with technology, but now it's an actual college degree that can be earned. Dan Grossman takes us to the first university in the country to offer a master's program in cyber psychology and looks at how the digital world is shaping our understanding of something we do every day. How much time do you think you spent on average on your phone last week? I bet you your guess is much lower than the actual answer. It was for me at least, but why do you think that is? This new master's program at Norfolk State University explores that question as well as many others to further explain the symbiotic relationship we have with technology. Hey there, Kate. Hey, how's it going? I had this thought while I interviewed Kate Haskey. Is this conversation any different than it would have been had we done it in person? My conclusion was probably not. Yeah, certainly. But of course, I was wrong. You and I both are operating under the assumption that we're fully focused on this. However, I could very well be, you know, doing something else on the side that you can't see, or you could be doing something like typing up a paper or, you know, what have you. Whereas like in person, we know exactly what the other person is doing. Kate is a teaching assistant for Norfolk State's cyber psychology program and wonders, does that unknown raise our levels of suspicion when we talk to people over Zoom? Could it lead to latent neuroticism? They're both interesting things to consider that the first of its kind course is hoping to provide answers to. Everything is connected. Social psychology is a part of cyber psychology. We could even say cognitive neuroscience definitely could be a part of cyber psychology. And so all these things sort of come together. Marty McClellan is a graduate student in the program, which had its first student graduate this past December. And these graduates aren't just going on to be researchers. They're going on to be consultants, to work in IT departments, to help companies integrate technology in better ways that allow workers to be more productive and maybe less addicted. Being able to discuss this and being able to learn about it more I think is is really important because cyber psychology really gets to the crux of people and technology. For years, there has been emerging research in this field, but there hasn't really been an umbrella term that brings it all together. This course is trying to change that by offering more structure as well as questions. We're looking at the psychological mechanisms that impact human behavior. We're just looking at it from the perspective of digital technology. Scott Deb came up with the course and teaches it. He says worldwide there is only one undergraduate course in this field and one doctoral program. It means the research at Norfolk State could not only just give us answers, but shape how other researchers approach their work. Currently, the course's 50 students are investigating the fear of missing out, or FOMO, and how the anxiety that comes from seeing your friends post things online could feel different than merely hearing about it in person. He hopes this research can help people in other fields. There was no jobs, and still right now, no jobs that say we need someone with a cyber psychology master's degree. It just doesn't exist. But the skills and what people are looking for exists all over the place. Ultimately, helping us have healthier relationships with the devices we use every day. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Norfolk, Virginia.